Hello guys, in today's tutorial we will see some function like absolute integer round ceiling and floor. So we use this function along with the number. So first we will see what exactly absolute function. Okay. So absolute may, uh, means suppose we have this number. Okay. And sometime what happen? The sign is not important to us. We want only the number. So for that you can implement absolute function. Suppose I am writing equal symbol abs okay opening bracket i want to perform operation with this number so i just click and closing bracket press enter key so my answer should come 23.11 so it is not taking the sign okay so in this way you can implement this function so here you understood absolute function so if i drag down my mouse here the number as it is coming okay the main thing is it is not coming uh, it is not taking the symbol or you can say the sign all number will be positive next next one is integer so in integer number it can be written like here int opening bracket and now i am clicking on this address b2 closing bracket so after pressing enter key what happen as it is number is coming now here i drop down you observe other number here only 3 is coming even though the number is 3.23 so here what happen it is taking just you can say integer number you can say round number so it is not taking the number which is after the point like 2 3 3 3 it is not taking that but the important thing is it is not uh, missing sign okay the sign is also coming so now i am in round function and it can be written like round so here it is having two parameter number and number of digit so here i am clicking suppose this number comma means number of digit suppose i am writing zero so here what happen a2 is nothing but this number zero means after dot you are not getting any number means only 23 answer is coming and if i delete this entry and once again i write round once again I have same address and now I am writing 1. So after dot how many number will come only 1. Once again if I delete this and if I write round a2 and then comma 2. Then 2 number are coming after dot. So in this way you can utilize round function it is very useful uh, functions you can say. Next one is ceiling function, ceiling and floor. They are just uh, opposite of each other. So if I explain, uh, you will not understand. So I'm uh, going to show you some information in sheet two. In the sheet two, here the numbers are there and here we use ceiling function. So what happened? It is used to reach that number to the nearest multiple. Okay. So here nearest multiple, here the 10 number is there. A2 is nothing but this value. We are converting this number to nearest multiple. So you should know the multiplication table of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40 up to like that. So what happened? 3 will reach to nearest multiple of 10. That is 10 value. 12 is nothing but 20. 25 will be converted into 30. 36 will be converted into 40 like that. And if you use a2 comma 5, it will reach to the nearest multiple of 5. So the multiplication table of 5 you are already knowing so 2 will reach to the nearest multiple of 5 that is 5 6 will reach to nearest multiple of the rounded number is 10 30 will be 15 so in this way it will convert next one is floor is exactly opposite of ceiling function so suppose you have this number and if you are using floor so again the number is 10 so you should know multiplication number of 10 multiplication table of 10 like 10 20 30 like that and if you have the 12 it will work in reverse direction it will go to the nearest multiple but it will take the down rounded multiple number okay so here the 12 so less than 12 value you have to pick up and the nearest multiple which is less than 12 is 10 so here the nearest multiple value of 10 which is less than 22 is 20. So that is the nearest multiple value that is less than 22. So here this number will be converted into less than 33 and the nearest multiple rounded value is 30. So same for here. 
this 6 is converted into 5 because the multiplication table of 5 is like this so 11 will be converted into 10 because that 10 is coming in the multiplication of 5 16 is converted into 15 because the 15 is coming in the multiplication table of 5 so this value will be converted or uh, this value will be converted down multi so this value is converted to the nearest multiple you can say nearest down multiple value so i hope friend you understood this concept now i am going into sheet 1 so now here i am using function equals to selling function and here i am taking the value this one b2 and suppose i am using value 2 then what happen now i drag down downside so this is minus value so it is minus 6 here 3.23 the nearest multiplication table if you know the multiplication table of 2 this 3 will be converted into 4 here the nearest multi uh, nearest multiple number for the 4 is 6 so here the 4 is there so is it will be 4 only then here 2 it will be 2 only because the 2 number is coming in the multiplication table of 2 then next one is floor so again I am pick, uh, picking the uh, again I am taking same value and 2 so here you observe the values particularly you see this value 3.23 so it will be converted into 2 because in the multiplication table 2 is present and here the less than value which is less than 3 is 2 so because the 2 is present in multiplication table so in this way friend this two function will work out so you have to practice this both function then you will understand because these functions are very easy for understanding absolute integer and round selling and floor these are important function and if you understood this graph this table if you understood then I am sure you understood this one also. I hope friend you understood this tutorial. Thank you.